welcome, friend. It's been a few months since I've been back in these old ridges. It's time to get back in them. Now, it's fall, but you can't tell it by the temperatures, except in the morning it is cooling down. And it's high time to get back in these old ridges before deer season comes in. And I love to get in them, but it's still kind of hot. In some places, it's rough trying to get up here. You gotta watch out for these snakes. But it's some rough country in some of these old ridges. But this is where the history is. And I find an old feather here once in a while. It's just me as superstition myself. Is when I find an old turkey feather, that usually means I'm going to have a good day in these old woods. So I love to find them. No matter what condition they're in. Love to find them. And you can see, you get up on these ridges. Now, first thing before it gets started, everybody asks me, what kind of detector you use, Donnie? Well, I'm using an Equinox 600, made by MindLab, and it's done me a real good job. I've had it for about two years now, and it don't lie to me. The only thing is, it's smarter than I am. It's got so many things that I'm still trying to learn how to use, so many frequencies, but it's done a real good job for me. So I can't complain about it at all. It picks up about anything, silver real good. And I use a pointer here when I find my target. It's a Garrett Pro Pointer. And both of these are waterproof. So I've not had it under the water yet, but I could. I like to get some of these old creeks. But on these ridge tops, they ain't no creeks. So there you go. There's what I've been using in all these old time in these woods. So, let's get at it, see what, what in history we can find. to a 25, down to 10, 16, loud. That's like something big there. Don't act like it's bigger than a shotgun shell. A big area here at the base of this old tree. Out go. Well, there's a shotgun shield. I'll set it aside and see if there's anything else right here. He's reading crazy. Reading awful crazy. Unless that was just it. We'll see what this shotgun shell is and I'll put the Equinox back on it. This one is a Winchester repeater. That's an old baby. I mean old, too. You see the date on it. Man, he is old. I love these things. I miss finding them. It's how old a one can I find? Out here in the old country. Let me check this with an equal knock and see if they any more here. Must be pieces. Nothing solid. All right. 
That's a weird target. But it was a good one. All right, moving on. Uh-oh. I show 17 to 18. But, push around here a little bit. So it jumps up to a 25. So, that acts like a bullet. But, we'll find out. It just feels so good just to get in these peaceful woods out here, them backup signals and traffic, hot rodders. The deeper I get in these ridges, the better I like it. There's a shotgun shell. That's for one thing. But they got to be another signal there. But anyway, there comes a shotgun shell out. And it looks like an old one till I clean it up. Let's see what else. There is something else there. Unless it's just rust off of the shotgun shell. But why did it read up there? That's all I can figure. There's nothing there. Just rust flakes. Clean my mess up. We'll clean this up. See what it is. I know this is an old one. An old favorite. Winchester New Rival. That one there is 125 years old. Be good shape to be down there that deep, ain't it? Well... You want me to do like most detector people do? Just sling it across the hill? Not me. All right, clean my mess up and I'm moving on. A good solid 12. <laughs> 12 to a 15, no iron. Now that acts like a shotgun chip, but I've been fooled before. And what do we got here? A little feather. Over here. Damn, this is hard dirt. There it is. Shotgun shell. See what that one is. It's a Remington. Remington UMC Natural Club. That's an old one. See the date here. That is an old one. That's an old one. Clean up my mess and I'm moving on. Good solid 12 to 15. No iron. That's how shotgun seal reads. Get down here in these roots here. There it is. 
shotgun shell. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's been a while. See what this one is. Down in them roots. And there it is. WC Company Field. That's an old baby, buddy. That is an old one. I love to find these old ones, and that's an old one right there. Shotgun shell, baby. All right. That's a nice find right there. That's probably find of the day, but we'll, we'll see. Moving on. Now that WC company stands for Western Cartridge Company. And these old ridges and these woods, just so beautiful to get in. Beat this hectic rat race, so peaceful. What lays here in the ground over time? History, our forefathers, the Native Americans, just here to be found. And I'm a firm believer that I'm going to hit something in one of these old rock, little rock houses and rock walls sooner or later. I'm a firm believer. But I haven't found nothing but maybe a few bullets over time in these old videos. But it's there. And there's so many storm damaged trees in these woods. We've had some bad storms this, this summer. Really bad. Here's a over a hundred year old hickory tree. I hate to see it. And these fields are so growed up, but beautiful wildflowers in. But the ticks are still bad, but not like they was in the spring. I have to watch for snakes. But I'll tell you what the worst thing is for me. Last week I was back in them old cemeteries and I spray myself real good. But my breeches leg come out of my boot. And this is what happened. Chiggers the world's worst, these old chiggers. I hadn't been in chiggers like this in a long, long time. But here's what they'll do for you. But anyway, let's get back at it. There's an 18 to a 22. Up to a 27. Well, that don't act like no shotgun shell. Acts like a bull. There it is. No bullet. Put my hands up a little bit. Well, there it is. Just a no bullet. Old solid bullet. All right. Don't know how old it is. Looks like a 45, but it's not. Old, old hunting ground. All right, we're going to move on. I'm showing a 15 or 16. But I'm showing a minus three on iron. Think I ought to dig it? I don't know what the heck. Oh, it could be as a nail. Piece of bob bar, I guess. First, you gotta hit it, Tom. You got to hit it.
Oops, wow. Piece of a little old nail. Well, don't lose it. Little old piece of nail. Could be a brad or something out of a, a nail out of a horseshoe. I don't know. But that's what that was. That's why it's showing iron. Now I hear this little man. You never know. You never know what's hidden in these in this ground over time. In these old timers. So we're moving on. No eye. Let's see what that is. Hopefully it's a good old shotgun too. Hard rocky ground. <clears throat> there she popped. Right there. Let's see how old that baby is. Shotgun shell baby. Of course, I could just throw them across the hill, like I said, like most of you metal detective people, they're trying to find gold and silver. Well, who ain't? This is my gold and silver in these old Tennessee woods. Winchester do, rival. That was a popular brand 120 years ago. I can't believe the metal's good in them. Good brass. That's why they read so good. That's why they're in a good condition. Well, there you go. Can't beat that, I'm telling you. You just can't beat it. That's, a pe that's the history of our people. This is what they made. A, this is how they put food on the table. All right, moving on. 16, 17, no iron. Well, we'll see what that is. I just gotta watch myself. Snake, yellow jackets, it don't matter. It's just good to get back out in these old years. Soft dirt there. Shotgun shell. It's plastic, but it's not that old. Looks like a 20 gauge. Clean it up right quick. See what that is. There that is. WW20 gauge. Could be 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. Don't know. Winchester and Western combined. Okay. So, clean up my mess. And I'm going to move on. Well, here's the day's finds, guys. I really loved getting back in them old woods. But I've never seen so much storm damage in trees in years i mean this year's been a bad year for storms i'm telling you and they blow these big trees down that's over a hundred years old in these woods and it, it's sad to see but that's just nature but anyway i did find a bunch of shotgun shells and i love to find them found some old bullets there's some modern bullets nothing special old hunting bullet here You know, you think these are all APC 45 autos, but they're not. And they're hunting around of some kind. Yeah, 
And of course, old 22. Remington 22 hull and the 22 itself. Different bullet. You find little stuff like that. They want to roll around everywhere. And found some old nails. I didn't even show some of this stuff. These old bullets, some of these bullets and these nails. But I show them in my finds here at the end of the day just to save time. This is a little old nail. I think it's from a horseshoe to come out. I didn't find a horseshoe though. It probably worked its way out there somewhere in them woods. Nails start coming out of it. Well, the old shotgun shells. Here's one. Couldn't identify really out in the field. Cleaned it up. It's a W&W &W 20 gauge. Old 20 gauge. It's not that old. This may be back in the 50s, 60s. Old W&W, &W, Winchester and Western, when they was merging. And the newer shotgun shells, here's another one. This is a 20 gauge Remington Express. High brass. I couldn't read this at all out in the field. It's rusty. The newer they are, the worse the metal is in them. Here's an old one. This is something I hunted with years ago. And still got these shells. I saved them. Remington Express. You could still buy them. 12 gauge. They've been around since they quit making them though. I think they really quit around in the late 80s. But I used these a lot of times back in the 70s and 80s. This was my favorite shell. Old Remington. High Bryce, he'd reach out there and get them squirrels. Now here's one, a Western Super X. It's back in the 60s, probably. See the date on these things as I show them. Now here's an old one, Winchester Repeater. But you make out that riding right in the middle of it there. Really never noticed that. Is that new? I don't know. I don't know what that is right there. Can't tell you. But there was a date on it. Now here is probably the oldest. Well, it's not the oldest. Them new, them new rivals was just as old or older. But this right here is a rarity. WC Company. 12 gauge. A field. This is something you just don't see. I don't know if that's Winchester Company, but that's something. I'm not, I'm not sure where to have to look it up. WC Company. That's a rarity to find that right there. That's an old one. I can get the date on it, but I'm not sure what that W stands for. Western Cartridge Company. Back in the early days of them. There you go. See the date on it. Of course, here's an old one. Remington UMC Nitro Club when they was emerging. See the date on that. And I found a couple of these. These are old favorite back then. Winchester New Rival. I found a lot of these in these ridges. These were a favorite shell back in that day, but you can see the date on them. They are old. I found two of them. One's better condition than the other. It's just according to where they lay. I found something here that's odd. Just an old petrified rock, an old tree or something. It's what it looked like to me out in the field. Petrified tree limb or piece of something. Not like a normal rock. I like stuff like that. Well, there you go. It feels so good to get back in these old ridges. And I'm going to get into them time to time. So I'll do these metal detecting videos. 
every every other week or something like that. I'll try to squeeze one in or do some, but I still love doing these stories. So I want to thank you all for watching. God bless every one of you. Ball's on its way. So I'll see you later. Take care, and I'll see you next time.